So hi everyone, I'm glad to share that my first book Langchain in your pocket, Beginner's Guide to Building Generative AI Applications Using LLMs is available now on Amazon and you can check the link in the description below. So hi everyone, today we'll be discussing about a very interesting use case uh, on Rack that is multi-document Rack that will help you to extract information, provide external context to the LLM from multiple diverse documents. So till now, I think all the examples that you have seen online would be around a single file, how you can query from a single file. But in this case, we will be using multiple documents. So I am using two text files together and you will see how a single agent is able to interact with both the text files. So let's get started. So first of all, you need to pip install Langchain, OpenA, whatever LM you are using, OpenA embeddings and you need to uh, import all these functions. So don't worry about the codes. The codes are available in my newly launched book, Langchain in your pocket. Now, once you have imported all the functions, all the important functions that we wish to use, second, we'll be creating a LLM object using the OpenAI API key. So that you need to assign for yourself or you can use any other API key. So if you want to use local LLM also, I have also created a video how you can use a local LLM and the same chapter is available in the book as well. Now, you'll be creating a retriever function. So in this retriever function, what I'm doing, I think it's just a baseline thing. You can uh, tweak around this function I have created for my easiness. So in this case, what I'm doing, I'm providing a file name that is a text file for now. Uh, so if you have already visited my previous rag video, you already know how rag works. Like it has a document loader transformation, embeddings model, vector database and a retriever. So the text loader act as a document loader for the file. It loads a document. Then we are doing the transformation. Then we are using the OpenAI embeddings, we are creating embeddings for the text and then using chroma DB, we are creating a DB and then retrieval, retrieval QA chain. We are trying to interact with the chroma DB depending upon the query that is given, right? So if you are not aware with all these terms, I would request you to go up, uh, watch my previous video on RAG and single document RAG. Like you can search for JSON file context or CC file context in my YouTube channel. You will find it else you can refer to the chapter in the book itself now we have created a function that creates a retrieval qa chain given a text file so in this case we'll be creating two retrieval qa chains retriever qa1 retriever qa2 sample text1 sample 2.txt so these are two files so the first file consists of um, information around the how to write blogs on medium second is why should data scientists write blogs right so these are very, like it's just an example so i copy paste on two of my blogs only now the interesting part is how to use it using a single agent, right? So what I will be doing, I will be creating a custom tool using the add the rate tool, cust uh, decorator, add the rate tool, def medium type, query string, gives output uh, as, as a string, search the extract to extract tips and tricks to write blogs on medium, and then returns the result from the retrieval QA1 chain. Similarly, I'm giving a description for the tool too, and returning the result from the retrieval QA2 chain, right? So in this case, as you can see that there are multiple things that you need to understand. The description that we are giving is very, very important. As if you have worked with agents before, if you have seen my previous video on agents, the description of the tool is very important. So this has to be very clear. And then the uh, results that we're returning are from the chains. So in turn, eventually what I'm trying to do, I'm creating a custom tool, which is a chain object. So there are two chain objects that I would be using as a tool for the agent. I think if uh, this is going a little complicated, you need to refer back to my previous video or you can refer to the book on how agent work, what are custom tools and all. And in this case, as you can see that using add the rate tool decorator, we have created two tools and then we are creating a tool list, medium tips, comma block tips. So one tool name is medium tips, other is block tips. Then we are adding conversational buffer memory. This is also, I've already explained. This will help you to remember the conversation. The LM will remember the conversation in the future. Now we are initializing an agent, passing the tool list, LM agent type is react, verbose is true, memory equals to memory. So any term that you're not able to understand is available in the book alongside in the YouTube channel only. Be it react, be it tools, be it agents, be it chains. So I would re request you to refer back to that. Once you have created an agent, we are running the first input that is why should data scientist block. Now if you look into the output uh, as it is following react, I, you need to refer back how react works. So React has three stages. One is the thought, other is the action, and third is the observation. So it, think, it thinks that, do I need to use a tool? Yes. Action is block tips. So block tips is one of our tools that we have given. 
and then using the tool it is able to give us an answer data management blog because it allows us to share knowledge etc etc now using the same agent i am calling out how to get started on medium now you can see that the action has changed medium tips it is using a second tool now medium tips and then giving an output depending upon that so this is how you can interact with multiple files using the same agent now in this case so the two we need to provide two different prompts to interact with uh, the two tools but at times given uh, your use case it can be the case that the agent might be using both the tools together in a single input like for example if the prompt would have been how to get started on medium and why should a data scientist block two questions together it would be able to use both the tools together in a single run so this is how you can multi you can use multiple documents for rag for